In this session we will discuss about lateral displacement. For the discussing of lateral displacement we can consider a glass lab. This is a glass lab. If a light ray is if a light ray is incident on this glass lab here it will get refracted. That means it bends towards the normal. Okay. This is incident ray, this is refracted ray and at the other surface of the glass lab the light ray will get refracted again that means it is away from the normal the light ray is away from the normal that means here the light ray is passes from denser medium to rarer medium this is glass this is air this medium is air this is this medium is glass okay here the light ray is passes from denser medium to rarer medium so it will get refracted and it is away from the normal this emergent ray is this ray is called emergent ray this is away from the normal okay so this is incident ray incident ray and this is refracted ray and this is emergent ray this is emergent ray okay now if you extend the incident ray like this if you extend the incident ray like this it is most parallel to the emergent ray so what do you observe here the light ray the extension of incident ray is parallel to the emergent ray okay so what do you observe here here the some distance is between them Okay, the, in, the distance between extension of incident ray and the emergent ray is called lateral shift. This distance is called lateral shift. This distance is called lateral shift. Okay, this is represented by PQ. So, what is the definition of lateral shift? The perpendicular distance, the perpendicular distance between the path of the incident ray while the emerging from the optical slab is called lateral displacement. Here the incident ray is emerging from the glass slab here. Okay. So here then some displacement is observed here from the extension of the incident ray. This displacement is called lateral displacement. This shift is called lateral shift. Lateral shift displacement. Okay. So what is the definition of lateral displacement? A perpendicular shift. A perpendicular shift in the path of the incident ray while emerging from the optical optical slab is called lateral displacement it is represented by pq here okay this is the definition of lateral displacement here what are the conditions of lateral displacement the conditions of the lateral shift are the conditions for the lateral displacement are the lateral displacement is directly proportional to the thickness of the optical slab and the lateral displacement is directly proportional to the refractive index of the optical material okay the lateral displacement is directly proportional to the angle of incidence and the lateral displacement is the inversely proportional to the wavelength lateral displacement is directly proportional to thickness of the glass slab this is the thickness of the glass slab if you increase the thickness of the glass slab, lateral displacement also increases. Otherwise, if you decrease the thickness of the glass slab, the lateral displacement also decreases. And the lateral displacement is depends on the refractive index of the optical material. Here the optical material is glass slab. So we can take any other optical material. So if you increase the refractive index of the optical material, then the lateral displacement also increases the shift the lateral displacement also increases next if you decrease the refractive index of if we can take any less refractive index material 
the lateral displacement also decreases lateral displacement is directly proportional to angle of incidence if you increase the angle of incidence the lateral shift also increases and if you decreases the angle of incidence the lateral shift also decreases lateral displacement also decreases and the lateral displacement is inversely proportional to the wavelength so if you increases the wavelength the lateral shift also increases if you increase the wavelength of the light ray the lateral shift also increases if you decrease the wavelength of the light ray the lateral displacement also decreases so these are the important conditions for the lateral displacement thickness of the glass slab refractive index of the material and uh, angle of incidence and wavelength okay so these are the important terms for the lateral displacement